Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. If you guys are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. In this video, we will learn about major parts of diesel generator. Working of diesel generator, we have already discussed in previous video. So, I have given a link in this video description box so let's discuss the major parts of the diesel generator so what are the major parts of diesel generator these are dg canopy base frame diesel tank fuel water separator filter fuel filter air filter turbocharger diesel engine exhaust system silencer coolant tank radiator and fan lubricant while full flow filter, leave while bypass filter, battery, battery charging alternator, DC starter motor, alternator, AVR, governor, control panel and finally circuit breaker. So let's discuss each parts one by one. So come to DG canopy. So basically DG canopy is the enclosure of the alternator or diesel engine basically it provides physical protection or mechanical protection and due to this also sound level of dg is reduced now next is dg frame so this is the dg frame which supports the engine and alternators now come to next which is diesel or fuel tanks so this is the external tank where we can store the diesel and this is the horizontal diesel tank so this is dg itself diesel tank and this is the fuel indicator we can monitor the fuel level of dg from this in case fuel is at low level then we will transfer the fuel from external tank to dg fuel tank and some of dg have also vertical type fuel tanks now come to next part which is water separated filter so this is the view of water separated filter so this water separated filter as you can see over here is fitted inside the generator so actually what it does it separate the mix water from the fuel then separated fuel from water is passed to the fuel filter and we can drain the separated or collected water with the help of this valve. In this way, it increases the efficiency of engine or we can say also it increases the lifespan of diesel engine. Now next is fuel filter. So, so this is the view of fuel filter. As you can see in this DG, so this is the fuel filter as you can see in this DG this filter removes the impurity from the fuel it can supply pure fuel to the engine now come to next which is air filter so this is the air filter so basically what it does it purify the air so there are two air filters used in dg system one for exhaust gas filter system and one for surrounding air filter system which air is supplied to the combustion chamber of diesel engine and this is the vacuum indicator which gives the signal in case of this filter stop which is fitted over here now come to another part which is turbocharger so this is the basic view of turbocharger this turbocharger actually fitted in here as you can see over here if you talk about its function it helps to remove the exhaust gas by using exhaust system as you can see over here and another major function of the turbocharger is it sucks the surrounding air through the air filter and pressurized air is supplied to the combustion engine through the intake valve. In this way it increases the efficiency of the diesel engine. Now next is diesel engine. So this part is the diesel engine of the DG set. 
so diesel engine actually produce the mechanical power which rotates the alternator shaft now come to next silencer and exhaust system so this is the silencer which is at the top of the dg so this is the part of the exhaust system where the exhaust gases or burnt gases or smoke is also filtered by this silencer and dg can exhaust the smoke or burnt gases from the stack so this is the basic view of silencer and exhaust system now come to next part which is cooling system of the dg it consists of coolant expansion tank so this is the coolant expansion tank and heat exchanger or we can say radiator and this is the thermostatic valve and coolant pump radiator fan it is driven by the crankshaft of the engine as you can see over here actually cooling system of the dg maintains the temperature of the engine at 80 degree celsius now come to next which is full flow lubricant oil filter and bypass oil filter so this is the full flow lube oil filter and this is the bypass oil filter actually this full flow oil filter is filter the leave oil or removes the impurity from the leave oil and it supply to the engine hence it maintains the frictionless engine parts in case full flow filter is stop at that time bypass valve will open and this leave oil is diverted towards the bypass filter and it is supply to the engine oil pan in this way we can prevent the engine from overheated and engine seize so this is the basic function of this filter now come to next part which is dg battery and its charging systems so there are two battery used in dgs having its battery voltage is 12 volt and this two battery is connected in series hence output voltage will be 24 volt so this battery is charged through this charging alternator so this is the pulley this alternator rotor is rotated through the main alternator by means of driven belt so in this way it generates the voltage and this voltage is controlled by this charging controller and this charging controller is charge the battery now come to next which is starter dc motor so this is the view of starter dc motor we can also say dg starter so this motor helps to start the diesel engine and this motor is operated through the dc batteries this terminal is connected to here and whenever it starts the dc and dc attains approximately 90% rpm at that time this starter dc motor automatically stop now come to other part which is alternator so alternator this is the alternator alternator is a device or equipment which produce mechanical energy into electrical energy now come to next part which is avr automatic voltage regulator so actually avr maintains the constant output voltage and also control the dc excitation of the alternator so in this picture we can see over here this is the avr controller with the help of it we can control the output voltage of the alternator and excitation of the alternator suppose we have set the reference voltage 415 voltage and avr is taken feedback voltage from the output terminal of the alternator so this controller will compare the output voltage with the reference voltage according to the error signals difference between reference voltage and feedback voltage as per that it controls the dc excitation of the field winding of the alternator in this way it maintains the constant output voltage now come to other parts which is governors actually governors 
controls the RPM of the alternator shaft and also frequency of the alternator according to the load requirements. So, in this picture, this is the governor controller and actuator, this is the fuel supply control valve and this is the diesel engine and this is the fuel supply hose. Now, we have a two condition over here. In case DG is operating at 30% load, at that condition, this governor controller will sense the RPM of the rotor with the help of magneto speed sensor and according to that it gives the signal to the actuator and this actuator operate the valves according to the load requirements. So at this condition fuel supply valve is partially open and diesel is allowed to enter the diesel engine. And another condition in case DG is operating at about 80% load this governor will send the signal to actuator and this actuator fully open the fuel supply valves and allow the fuel supply to the diesel engine. So in this way we can say governor helps to save the diesel in case DG is operating at low load. So this is the basic operation of the governor. Now come to another part which is control panel. So this is the basic view of control panel as we can see over here it is fitted over here. So actually with the help of this we can monitor the diesel engine and alternator parameters like line to line voltage, phase voltage, phase currents, frequency, diesel engine RPM etc. And with the help of this we can also start and stop the DZ. Now come to another part which is circuit breaker. So circuit breaker, so this is the MCCB actually fitted at output terminal of the DG and from the output terminal of the MCCB cable is connected to synchronization panel or ATS panel and finally to the load. So actually this circuit breaker or MCCB protects the alternator from the overload condition short circuit condition. So these are the major parts of diesel generator or DG sets we have discussed. Hope you understand it. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos related to electrical, plumbing, SVSE as well as AutoCAD drafting. So thank you very much. See you again in next video.